This screencast is one in a series on process calculations, and the title is Reaction Systems Definitions. The content is what is a reaction system, elements or components, and some important properties conversion, yield, and selectivity. What is a reaction system? A reaction system is a system characterized by one or more chemical reactions take place, one or more reactants are converted, and one or more products are formed. This can be shown like this. There is at least one input stream with at least one reactant. There is at least one output stream, normally with one or more reactants, but also a product, and possibly also a byproduct. Let's take an example. In a system, carbohydrates, here expressed as CH2O, are digested using oxygen. Carbohydrates plus oxygen gas forms carbon dioxide and water in an irreversible reaction. The system can be an organism. So it has one input stream with carbohydrates and oxygen gas, and it has an output stream, typically with carbohydrates and oxygen, but also carbon dioxide and water as products. We can look at this system in two ways, either in terms of fluxes of elements or in fluxes of components. If we use the element view, the elements are C, H, and O carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And since elements are conservative, we also know that mass in must equal mass out of each element, and moles in of each element must equal the moles out of each element. And here, the fluxes of the various elements have been included in the system chart. If we use a component view, the components are carbohydrates, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide, and water. As its components are consumed and or produced, we know that mass in is not equal mass out and moles in are not equal number of moles out. In terms of fluxes, we see that carbohydrates and oxygen gas enter the system and carbon dioxide, water, carbohydrates and oxygen will leave the system. Now it's time for some definitions. The first one is conversion. If a component A reacts to form a main product B and a byproduct C in the reactions, reaction 1, A, yields 2B, and reaction 2, 2A, two yields C, then we can draw a system chart with the stream variables shown to the right. F1A entering the system, F2A, F2B, and F2C leaving the system. We then define the conversion of A as the amount converted of A divided by the influx of A. This can also be expressed as the difference between the input flux of A minus the output flux of A divided by the input flux of A. In terms of stream variables, this can be expressed as 1 minus F2A divided by F1A. The yield. Again, let the component A react to form the main product B and the byproduct C just in the previous definition of conversion. The yield quantifies a fraction that is converted to the desired product in relation to the maximum theoretical conversion. Let nu i denote the stoichiometric coefficient of component i in the main reaction, that is, 1 for a and 2 for b. Then the yield is defined as f2b divided by the stoichiometric coefficient for b and F1A divided by the stoichiometric coefficient for A. So if all of the A is converted to B, the yield will be 1. Now it's time to define the selectivity. Again, let component A react to form a main product B and the byproduct C, just as before. So the selectivity is defined as the ratio between the molar output flux of B and the molar output flux of C. However, this is a simplification and builds on the fact that neither B or C are present in the input. Let's summarize the definitions. The conversion links the reactant input to the reactant output, while the yield links the reactant input to the product output, 
and the selectivity links a product output to a byproduct output. And this can be illustrated in this sketch with input streams with the reactant and output stream with the reactant, product, and byproduct. Let's summarize the content. First, I discussed what is a reaction system. Should it be viewed in terms of elements or components? And then it's time for some definitions conversion, yield, and selectivity.